Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to typeset a table which spans more than one page of your LaTeX document. For this purpose, we use long table style file. Let us go to the Technic Center editor. Here, you find we are using the package long table. Normally, we will have table environment followed by tabular environment. We say begin tabular and then within curly braces we specify the column alignment. But here when we say begin long table you have to specify the column alignment here itself. There is no tabular environment in long table package. Now here we have used first column left align second column of width 250 point. If you are going to use a horizontal line here, necessarily the caption must end with a double slash. Otherwise, there will be an error. This is not a requirement with a normal table because there will be, we will use after caption, we will use begin tabular. Now, here we have to use double slash at the end of the caption. Then we say the header of the table. Header is frequency on the in the first column and the functional group in the second column. Before and after this we have a horizontal line. Then we say this is the end of first header. We say end first head and then at the end of the table we will have end last foot. You can have multi column to right aligned end of the long table. For the subsequent pages, the header may be different. Namely, you can have a line like this, continued from the previous page and then followed by the header you may repeat. This we say end head. End head and end first head need not be the same, they can be different. Similarly, end foot and end last foot can be different. They need not be the same. You can say multi column to right aligned continue on the next page. Then you give the data for the table. You need not specify where the table has to break at the page break. You simply compile and then you will find you will get the output like this. This is the header frequency, functional group, etc. is a header. Then at the bottom, at the foot, you will find continue to on the next page. Such a footer will be available on every page of the table. Similarly, for the header, you can have continued from the previous page. This will be the header for every page, irrespective of the number of pages the table may occupy. Similarly, here, the footer. And then, this is the end of the last uh, long table environment where we have got end last foot. One very important point is we, we have to compile this at least thrice. I will show you. First I clean the auxiliary file. I compile and then you will find the column alignment is not proper. In the first run, LaTeX does not know the width of the columns. Then you compile it once again, you will find the column alignment is proper. For safety purpose, you may compile once again, one more time. I would suggest you compile at least thrice to get the long table correctly formatted. Thank you very much for watching. We will continue in another video. Thank you very much.